Cyclica has been part of Startup Health since April 2014. I think we were company number 40, give or take. So to see all of this, the growth, the acceleration, it's been phenomenal. And this is all for you guys. This is all for patients. This is to advance healthcare. And it's my privilege to be here on stage to talk about not just what Cyclica does, but how we're applying artificial intelligence to transform the discovery of medicines. I'm excited to present to you one of our partners to come on stage to talk about the application of this in real world settings. And why is this important? Because pharma is changing. It's undeniable, it's incontrovertible. It's not that they need to change, pharma is changing. And it's changing because data exists and data is accessible. The data that we're talking about is data about proteins. Proteins are the biological gatekeepers of disease. And there's so much wealth of knowledge about protein structures that we now have access to. We have access to a lot of chemistry data. We have access to other forms of omics data, metabolomics, genomics, transcriptomic data. And when we bring that all together with computational power, algorithmic development like artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, and apply that in the right way, in the responsible way, and augment it with cloud computing, well, that's what really drives the Cyclica engine. That is the engine that is driving our rocket. And our rocket is not only aimed for the moon, that moonshot being to drive drug discovery down from seven years to two years, and we're going to do that in collaboration with our partners, and we believe we will see success stories by 2025 with this, uh, this vision actually being a reality, and from there going to Mars. And our Mars shot is to move away from the old classical computational drug discovery paradigm to start discover designing drugs for people, not just for proteins. To take a more holistic view, to look at the cell, to look at the individual, that's what excites us. And then as cheesy as it may sound, going from Mars, we're going for the stars. So that's the rocket driven by the engine that we have at Cyclica. And why is this important and why should you care? Well, drug discovery is costly, it's time consuming, and patients are left waiting and suffering. We believe that a holistic computational approach supported by experimental domain expertise is the solution that's going to drive productivity. And our vision encapsulated in a paradigm, and if you're interested in the scientific, we can have a conversation. Drugs, genes, and health is everything that we're concerned about. If we can understand how drugs interact with proteins, if we can leverage systems biology data to link that information down to health outcomes and to patient outcomes, and then link on genomic data to take a more downstream people perspective, well then we can design drugs that are in the best position for downstream success. That's the vision that we're excited about, and I'm thrilled to introduce one of my favorite people in the world, one of our partners, this president and CEO of TMI and Tracery, Shelley Boyd, to talk about how they've worked with us to carry out their vision of designing the best drugs. Shelley? Uh, thank you, Nahid, and thank you, Startup Health. This is oh, a real uh, a I real missed privilege. a slide. I'm so oh. sorry. That's my fault. That's and here are our partners and <laughs> TMI being one of them. <laughs> Translatum Medicus, Inc. <laughs> so together with Cyclica, we envision a world where treatments are discovered for you, a world of personalized medicine. And to do that, you need a world of precision drug development. And for this, we need customized clinical trials. So no longer the trials of 4,000 people or 400 people. We envision a day when the clinical trial is for you. We're developing for you. To do this, we've aligned three companies, two of which are mine, Tracery for biomarker development, Translatum for drug development, and Cyclica for our uh, customized uh, drug design. So between us, we envision a world of healthy, independent aging, a world without blindness, and a world without cognitive decline. 
So we're focused first on uh, diseases of neurodegeneration, inflammation, and aging, or neuroinflammaging. These are multigenic, complex diseases. They've got significant over, uh, environmental overlay, and they share the property that neither can be biopsied. And so this means that we rely on imaging. And because imaging tends to pick up disease late, what we find our clinical trials are therefore late, long, and costly. So I am a, I'm an eye doctor, I'm a retina specialist, and I run Canada's only dedicated high-risk, dry, age-related macular degeneration. And age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, is the leading cause of blindness in much of the world. I'm also in the remarkable position of having worked as the global head of the ocular angiogenesis program for Novartis from Switzerland to develop the drug known as ranibizumab or Lucentis for treating wet macular degeneration. And I'm in the privileged position of actually treating my patients with the medicine I helped develop. So I can tell you, unfortunately, this disease is relentlessly progressive and my patients see less and less over time. So our answer is actually to get the right person into the right clinical trial with the right pathway targeted with the right chemistry. And to do that, we vertically integrate AI into three, uh, three pillars. First, we have our own imaging system and our own convolutional neural networks. We also use the cloud for large data handling and our building capacity for our omics. And finally, partnered with Cyclica, we do our proteomics and ligand binding testing. But importantly, we integrate these horizontally. And by doing so, we can make drug development precise. So I'm going to show you some of our technology. So this is a patient of mine. This patient's in their 50s, and most of us are going to make it to 100. This is patients blind. They're going to spend half their life blind. That's daunting. So that patient, you can see the patch of dead tissue in black. When you use our imaging, you can see we see more than just dead tissue. We see diseased tissue. And this is the first functional imaging in the eye. In addition, instead of taking all comers to our trials, we've been able to divide this disease into more flavors or phenotypes. So looking at this patient, the four quadrants of their retina look approximately normal, but look what we see. We see brand new phenotypes or flavors, and this allows unprecedented classification of our patients. And because we've been running this study for a number of years, we have prospectively acquired retrospective data, and that allows us to do predictive modeling. So imagine now you can divide your patients into the groups. Now you can ask, what's the uh, associated omics? What's their biology? And of course, you can then reverse the paradigm. Once you know the pathway, you can go back and say, what do those patients look like? And here's the magic. Partnered with Cyclica, within those molecular pathways, we can find druggable targets. And with Cyclica, they can help us develop chemistries that target that and even help us prioritize our own pipeline through on and off target um, calculations. So Tracery, TMI, and Cyclica, I'm very pleased to say all three are at J-Labs Toronto, and we were awarded first place globally for artificial intelligence for drug design, and we are dedicated to precision drug development. So our view is to take Cyclica's chemistry, get it not just to the right pathway, but to the right person. And this is our moonshot, and because it's image-based, we can do this wherever you live. Thank you very much. And so I guess I have to follow the energy of Shelley to kind of close this out. I love listening to Shelley on stage. It's fascinating the work that TMI is doing, and it's a ple pleasure to actually yeah, partner weird. with TMI and Tracery. Um, my rallying cry to everybody in the audience, there's a lot of biotech companies out there, a lot of companies that uh, require computational expertise. We're always happy to find partnerships like we've done with TMI in a way to advance healthcare. This is one application in a very exciting, much needed space, which is dry AMD, but oncology, other neurodegenerative diseases, give us a shout. Use our technology. We will partner with you to advance your projects. You're the experts, and together we can get the right drugs in the right patient's hands. Unity, Eugene, thank you again, uh, and Startup Health for all of this. It's incredible. Um, go Startup Health Transformers. Thank you.